Hey guys, a few of you have asked me how my program is going, my college program. I'm in a online bachelor's program at uh, Western Governors University in software development. And I thought I'd give you a little update. I, I've been asked frequently enough. I think I can do a video about it, kind of share a little bit of my thought process again about why I decided to go back to school. Also, um, how it's going and if I like it, if I would recommend it and uh, what I think I'll get out of it. And while you're thinking about potentially continuing your own education, might I recommend Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp, devmountain.com for more information, uh, where you can learn about full stack JavaScript development, you can learn about quality assurance, Salesforce, uh, UX UI, uh, mobile development. They have a bunch of great things, and I'm a big proponent of continuing uh, your education in one way or other, whether it's self education or through an additional third party, so check them out at devmountain.com. Okay, so uh, as I mentioned, I'm in a software development program through Western Governors University, and if you're interested in why I went back to school, even though I was working as a developer, I have an entire video talking about it for about 10, 15 minutes, just sort of setting my thought process, but, um, and I'll, I'll include that in the description below. But um, right now, it's been about uh, seven weeks, and seven weeks, the way that uh, Western Governor University works is that you pay a flat rate for tuition, about $3,500 every six months, and you can take as many units as you can complete. So uh, my goal is a course every two weeks. So um, I've been pretty close to that. I've done a course two weeks, two weeks, and three weeks. The three week one was because my work has a once a year event that it goes on. It's the biggest and, and busiest week of the year, and they wanted me on site to help out and your boy's a team player, so he shows up, right? Um, when game day comes, you rise to the occasion when uh, game day happens, right? So um, I was okay with that. And so in seven weeks, I have completed 13 units, a six-unit course, a four-unit course, and a three-unit course. And I'm on track to continue that uh, by finishing up my next course next week, which will uh, be two weeks from... from uh, so in about nine weeks, I'll have, I'll have completed 17 units. And it's one of the reasons that I enrolled in the program. And uh, it's nice to see that if you put in a little bit of work, and I'm not like overly killing myself. I still have a full-time job uh, working, you know, 40 to 45 hours a week. I still have the YouTube channel, which I, I've been posting a little less so, but I, I've been posting one to two videos a week and a live stream. Typically, it was like around three videos a week and a live stream. Um, so I've been handling that as well as all the stuff that goes on in the background, uh, my studying, my learning process uh, outside of school, right? Um, so in terms of what I wanted to get out of it, which was a effective way of being able to complete credits as fast as possible to get that degree for uh, as cheap and as fast as possible has been very effective. It was uh, the reason I chose the the school to begin with was the low cost as well as the the structure of it being that you can essentially test out of everything. And um, now I personally, I there's some th courses where I think ah, I could just go take the final and see if I pass. Uh, I personally don't do that because I I I don't necessarily like that. So what I do the way that I study for my tests and they have labs and things like that. But I essentially just do the reading material and I break it up over 10 days, Monday through Friday. That's how I look at it is uh, I have 10, 10 days between two weeks, Monday through Friday. Every morning I wake up, I spend about an hour doing my reading. If I didn't get my my 10 percent, you know, the 10 days worth, my 10 percent of reading and quizzes. Sometimes there's online quizzes and uh, things like that. Uh, and there's exercises in some of them as well. I don't do the exercises. I, no one's got time for that bullshit. I, <laughs> I'm trying to pass some classes, right? I'm not trying to twiddle my thumbs doing homework um, if I don't need to. And so far, I haven't needed to. Um, so I do the quizzes, helps me prep and everything. And I do my reading and I have it essentially structured out for those 10 days, Monday through Friday, and on the weekends to help me catch up. Now, uh, I give myself about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes in the morning. If I get it done early, cool. I, uh, I work on a little bit of YouTube. I, uh, I work on some courses I'm putting together. I work on whatever it is, but I'm, I'm constantly working on something uh, 
to to progress a career i might read a chapter in one of the books i'm reading which i'll, I'll be sharing some videos about that down the road i have four books in the pipeline right now uh something i'm trying to incorporate differently and uh i'll talk a little bit about that in a separate video but um if i get done early great i'll just go work on something that's that's not in the same arena as college if i don't when i get home from work and this happens because the courses are some are larger than others right the course i'm working through right now has videos it has quizzes it has text and uh, a lot of that you know sometimes when you're watching the videos it'll take longer than an hour maybe maybe it's actually going to be a two hour section that day i come home and i do the section then i i continue it and, and typically i get home around six i'm in bed by eight to nine um and so i go to bed pretty early i usually will work till about nine on the laptop in bed you know i have dinner all that sort of stuff so i usually have about an hour um plus after work and that's usually enough time now in a in some situations it may not be enough and that's when i work on the weekends right so um i i will do some studying on the weekends so far i found this to be very effective and very accomplishable is that a word accomplishable uh so i i have been very successful with doing about an hour in the morning an hour after if needed and then continue continuing on this uh and it's, it's all about just taking a look at the section and breaking it down and um this has allowed me to stay on to my track which is to do a course about every two weeks now um to give you an idea if i'm able to do that i should be graduating if i'm able to continue with the trend of a course every two weeks i should be able to graduate before the end of this year which is fantastic and um i could probably even pick it up the pace if i if i wanted to um i've had this idea of using my pto i have a for those of you who don't know i, I have a okay pto and sick day package of uh let's say i didn't take any days for the year and i use all my sick days my floating holidays <laughs> and my uh my pto i could take off uh, approximately an entire month uh, it's ni 19 working days, and so um, <laughs> I, had th I had this idea uh, where, you know what, uh, I'm about seven months in. I have about two weeks off of PTO and sick time and whatnot right now, um, and it's going to continue to grow. Maybe, that's where your boy starts thinking, maybe he just takes three and a half weeks off and just puts in work on these courses and, like, is knocking one out every three, four days because he doesn't have to go to work. Uh not really how I want to spend my PTO. I decided, but it's still it's still lingering in there. I might I might get a little a little uh, get a little hyphy, and uh, things might get a little spicy. I might try to knock out some courses with some PTO for work. Um, just something to something to think about. Um, but uh, yeah, so I've been in terms of what I wanted to get out of it. Very fact. Now let's talk about: Am I learning anything? Uh, <laughs> um, no, <laughs> it's not. Um, and this may be different. This may be because I am, uh, I'm working as a software developer. It could be that I am, uh, pretty active in my studies outside of work. So for those of you who don't know, uh, it's only been about three and a half years since I really started diving into development. I've been working as a developer, maybe three years. I've been working as a developer for, uh, a little less than two years now, and I, before that, I had a role for about nine months working at a software company, but not in development as a as a technical writer, essentially. And so I've been ex I've been ex exposed to quite a bit, and I've also have been studying every day for about three years. And um, that could be blogs, that could be uh, meetups, that could be just coding. So I I have been putting in the work that I think um, has has paid off um amazingly and so um in terms of am i i'm actually learning anything no did i expect or did i want to learn anything uh when i enrolled in the program that wasn't my objective so i'm okay with that now would you learn something if you're just getting started probably um would it stick based off of just doing re reading and quizzes this is where i have my doubts and this has always been one of my things with college is that college in general is not so much about learning as it is passing tests to say that you were able to memorize some content. And it hasn't changed in an online format, um, sadly, sadly to say. Um, and really, at the end of the day, I'm paying $3,500 
to get a uh, 15 minute phone call on Friday from my my course guide, who's very nice, does an excellent job. I have nothing but respect for him. So if you're watching this, man, nothing, nothing, uh, nothing, uh, nothing against you. We just, as Reggie says, keeping it 100. Uh, but but uh, um, between that, you know, phone call and a couple of emails here or there, getting started, and um, you're basically doing Udemy courses that you get quit that there's quizzes and they're not actually Udemy courses, but some of them are on like Linda, for instance, uh, dot com. And uh, you're essentially just studying text, you know, a couple chapters and text and uh, video courses. And it really makes you wonder why you're paying thirty five hundred dollars for this. And the, and the truth of the matter is exactly what I said when I told you I was going back to school is a, a piece of paper, uh, something that. Uh, shows the HR department something that shows, um, you know, upper management at times like, hey, this guy's investing in his traditional education and uh, something to pad up and beef the weaker parts of the resume, which is why I'm doing it. Now, uh, could it change where I, I do go and learn something? Oh, of course it could. There's a I'm only uh, in the fourth course of about 17 or so, and um, maybe it's 16. I, f I forget the exact amount of courses I need, but... Um, it could definitely change, but it in terms of uh, will any of it really stick as a developer? I don't really think so. I think most of the stuff that's going to stick is stuff that you actually are going to be working with outside of the workplace. And uh, but I, I will say I will say that if you're new to software development and you just want to be exposed to a lot of things, this course will do a very or this program will do a very good thing. Uh, just between these four courses, I've done two on web dev. Uh, and I've done uh, one on um, sort of introduction to IT. That's like networking, server setups, just sort of all the various different hardware roles that are out there. And the current role, uh, the current course I'm doing is in quality assurance, which is going to introduce you to between the, you've been introduced to three sort of separate topics just in those first four courses. And it's going to continue on with object oriented programming, UI UX courses. Um, What's uh, some other stuff? Um, project management. So you will get exposed to a lot of things that are pretty relevant to the field um, con compared to maybe a, uh, a more traditional computer science program, which is going to be a lot of theory, uh, which uh, depending on what you prefer, I prefer more relevant but uh is any of it really relevant who knows uh no but uh that's not why that's not why i'm here uh in the program and yeah uh so that's sort of my update on on the uh, program i'm very happy with it uh just because i have a, a negative viewpoint on uh on college doesn't mean that I'm not happy with my program. I would actually give the program for what I wanted out of it. And that's really what you have to ask yourself when you go and enroll in a boot camp. you go and take a Udemy course, you go and you go and um, you know go to college, go back to college, an online program. What was it that you were hoping to get out of it? For me, I was hoping to be able to uh, cheaply and effectively get my degree as fast as possible. And in that aspect, I would give it a a minus, a nine out of ten, boys. That's what I would give it. That's what I want to accomplish. Because at the end of the day, um, I'm already working as a developer. I'm self-taught. And even if you go and get a, a bachelor's degree and spend four or five years, you're still going to need to be self-taught in this industry. Uh, there's a reason why on those Stack Overflow surveys, they something like 91% of devs consider themselves taught, even if they have, uh, you know, 90, even if most of them have CS degrees, like half the people in there had a CS degree, but they still consider themselves taught because that's the way of the industry. You're not going to really learn the, you're going to learn theory, you might learn data structures and algorithms in a CS program, which will be helpful for your technical interviews, but um, you're not really going to not need to learn outside of work and that, that goes the same for the program so for me in terms of what i want to get out of it the graduating uh fastly and cheaply uh i would give it a nine out of ten and um in terms of the content for the course in terms of learning stuff i, I would say that i would give it like a six out of ten maybe and uh but that's not why i'm there uh but if that's why you're there i you might want to I don't think you're going to get better stuff at any college. So I think a six out of 10 is probably <laughs> about what you're going to get in general. So uh, those are my thoughts, guys. I appreciate you watching this video. I'm, uh, I'm very happy with my, my current program. And uh, I can't wait to uh, post a video here of uh, being like, I got this shit.
never go back to school this shit sucked uh whatever i'll say uh thank you so much for watching don't forget to comment like subscribe share support me on patreon all that good stuff it has been a pleasure i will uh maybe do another update uh right around the time i'm done i'll see you guys next time bye hey baby what do you think i think about me going back to school i think you don't like it because all you do is bitch and complain <laughs> Hey guys, if you're interested in a nice JavaScript course, I just released my second course. And in here, we're actually going to be breaking down JavaScript as a language, as well as give you some opportunities to solve some algorithms and build some build up your GitHub, as well as introduce you a little bit to Markdown. There's a link in the description to get the course for just $15 if you're interested. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.